What's up subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about some updates for a Nuvo stock trading under the ticker INUV. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you get notifications about our future videos talking about the stock market and personal finances. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. For those of you who may have missed my last video where I talked about Inuvo, Inuvo is a tech stock focused on AI-generated proprietary audience data and e-commerce digital advertising. It's a company that I was definitely intrigued by, but still in the process of doing my own due diligence before deciding whether or not to invest. Well, since my last video about Inuvo, I had a chance to listen to their most recent conference call, and I gotta say that I was quite impressed by what I heard. This included total revenue for 2020 of $44.6 million, of which $12.9 million came in the fourth quarter alone, an increase of 40% sequentially. Listening to CEO Rich Howe also instilled some confidence, as he stated that the company reached their bottom due to the COVID-19 pandemic in May of 2020, and barring any other setbacks from the pandemic, he anticipates that Inuva will be able to reach pre-pandemic revenue at some point in 2021. This is because, due to the nature of digital advertising and the fact that the pandemic limited many industries such as travel and entertainment, not as many companies were spending money on advertising. Despite that, Inuvo was able to post an adjusted EBITDA in the fourth quarter of positive 340,000 when compared to the total year of negative 2.4 million. And the valid click aspect of the business was up over 100% in December when compared to the business's lows in May of 2020. And in addition to the financials of the company, I was quite impressed listening to Rich Howe describe how their proprietary AI technology is changing the scape of digital advertising. Rather than trying to summarize what he had to say myself, let's just go ahead and listen in to him directly. We now know in head-to-head -head tests against the competition, uh, we are likely to win. Our job really now is to continue building out a world-class sales and account management team around what is truly a unique and proprietary product. The reason we win is because our AI creates audiences in near real time that only we know exist, and therefore we have uh, an ability to message those audiences on behalf of our clients before our competitors can, and this results in better performance. For our clients. We ran uh, 251 campaigns for clients in uh, 2020, with approximately 40% of those campaigns um, coming from new business within the year. In the fourth quarter, we exceeded our clients' goals on campaigns by roughly 36%. Now, for the year, we exceeded client goals by 46% on average. Now, since Steve's goals our clients give us are likely based on the performance of our competitors, these accomplishments are really a proxy for how much better the intent key is versus that competition. Anytime that I'm looking into a potential new investment, regardless of how large or small that investment is going to be, I always start out by looking at the company's most recent 10K, 10Q, and listening to their most recent conference call, as well as researching management. And in the case of Inuvo, I like everything that I've seen so far, and I've started out building a small position. Now, as still a speculative investment in a very small market cap company, currently with a market capitalization less than $200 million, Inuvo is not a company that I feel comfortable building into a large position. But whenever I think about this company from a long-term perspective, it's tough for me to see it being worth less than $1 billion dollars if not multiple billion dollars in the future, especially given the increasing trend in revenue and the ongoing shift toward e-commerce in our economy globally. As long as the share price remains in the $1 range, I feel comfortable adding more shares to my position. But with that being said, anytime you're investing in a small market cap company, there are always going to be some inherent risks with that investment, such as the risk of shareholder dilution over time as the company needs to raise additional capital to fund its growth, and the risk of competition. For example, Google is one of Inuvo's largest clients. But with that being said, I certainly could see Google at one point becoming a competitor to Inuvo and producing their own artificial intelligence to assist with ad targeting. But then again, looking at it from a different perspective, for a larger company like Google, maybe it would be easier for them rather than to develop their own technology 
to look into acquiring the competitor instead. At the end of the day, I don't know, and nobody else does either. But these are just some of the potential risks that I thought about before deciding to invest in Anuvo. So with that said, I believe that the potential for Anuvo outweighs the risks, which is why I feel comfortable opening a small position in this company. What are your thoughts about Anuvo? Are you invested in INUV? Are you thinking about investing in this company? Where do you see the share price going over both the short term and the long term? Be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, if there are any other stocks or topics that you would like me to talk about in a future video, please feel free to comment that down below as well. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.